Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new scrawler box unboxing. I'm super excited to get into this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it because obviously intros is not my forte. If you don't know what scrawler box is, it's subscription art supplies that arrive at your doorstep or you know, in your mailbox <laughs> once a month. And it's a really fun way for me, at least, to kind of get out of my comfort zone and try, try out new art supplies that I probably wouldn't try if it, if it wasn't for this little baby, so... Okay, so already I'm seeing... Oh, God, look at this. Oh, oh my God, it's so pretty. I love all the colors. I think this is my favorite print that we've ever gotten in a scroller box. The artist is Marlene Rye, and you can find them over here. Oh, wow. Wow, I just... <gasps> oh, I know what it is now. Okay. Um, this... These things feel like... Like a really fine grit sandpaper. And I just... I know what this is now because I've been watching the color cave and she's been experimenting with pan pastels and I believe this would be like pastel matte or like pastel paper like the fancy kind because I've never felt anything like this before and that is how I would imagine what she's been talking about in her videos how that feels. I'll link her in the description box down below by the way if you want to check her out I love watching her videos it's it's so relaxing and I love having them as like background noise. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that <laughs> these little buddies are some pastel pencils. Oh my god. <laughs> Who opens it like that? <gasps> okay. Oh 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 I'm excited. <gasps> also look, this is going on my water bottle. I love, I love the print this month. God, wow, wow. We got the spoilers, but we already spoiled it, so it doesn't matter. <gasps> Kitty. We've got three pastel pencils. We've got a red, a pink, and a blue. And it's from however you pronounce that. Yeah. And then the star of the show is this desert palette, and it's... 10 soft pastel half sticks. So I assume they're like this size. Um, I don't think I've ever worked with soft pastels before. I've, I've done some like oil pastels, like when I was a child. Um, and I've been working with pastel pencils a tiny bit, but I've never ever tried soft pastels. So I'm so excited. I think this is gonna get messy. Oh, there's a spongy sponge in here. Oh, they're laying on the sponge. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, that's... Oh, man. Got hair in mine. Whose hair is this? Look at it. The colors, I hope they're showing... Okay, yeah, that's gonna... This this is gonna be a messy one, I can tell already. Okay. Um, let's watch. I'm not super into this beige color, so I think I'm gonna swatch on this one and then do the artwork on this one. Is that... I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I could just cover it all up, right? Okay. Um, yeah. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I made, made up my mind. Okay, so the scroller challenge of the month is Reflective Skies, which totally makes sense with the print. And uh, this is my favorite print so far, guys. I love it so much. The pastel pencils are from the this brand. I'm, I'm just gonna put it on screen because I do not know how to <laughs> how to pronounce that at all. Um, basically what they're telling us about these pencils is that they're gonna help us with the detail in the piece which makes sense because you're not gonna have that mu much accuracy with the soft pastel sticks and yeah basically it's a it's a pastel pencil and I'm really excited to try these. First of all, the noise that the pencils make on the paper is... Ooh! <laughs> it's intense, guys! Wow. Um, 
yeah, I, I don't like the sound and I don't like the feel of the paper. It's like, it makes me want to go get hand lotion. That's, that's what it makes me makes me feel like it's it's a little bit cringy for me and I'm really struggling with it but I'm gonna persevere and I am gonna try to make as small of a mess as possible okay so I'm actually enjoying the sticks way better like way way better um, they're not making the kind of nails on a chalkboard noise that the pencils did so I'm I'm not mad at them I think what I'm gonna do is try to just go in and create something nice and loose for the reflected skies prompt. Um, normally I would want to sketch everything out, but I think this time, if any, is the time to not sketch things out in advance, right? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go in. I'm actually enjoying swatching this, like, a lot, because they're showing up so beautifully on this paper, or whatever it is. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna try to get this to my trash can and just give it a little wiggle. Okay, um, next thing. I feel like you should probably smudge these. Oh man, I'm gonna make such a mess. <gasps> Blend these two. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be using your finger because you know the oils and stuff, so... But, yeah, also it's probably easier to blend things before you blow all the axes off of it. Sorry. <laughs> um, lesson learned. I think I'm just gonna go in, like, boom, let's do this, right? I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely terrified. I am gonna eat this, I'm gonna try to find a reference picture, and then I will be right back. Oh, hi, hello, voiceover time. I decided to go with this picture that I found on my personal Instagram. This is from years and years ago, and I took this picture while I was walking Napoleon one evening and it's stunning and I felt inspired and I decided to use this as kind of a loose reference. I did not stick to the whole composition of this image but it definitely got me started and just heading in the right direction. I have so many things to say about this piece. Um, first of all, the medium. I uh, like it? Question mark? Like, what? I honestly went into this thinking that I would hate this medium. I hated the, the noise on the paper. I, I hated that chalkboardy kind of thing that happened. But that was mostly during the swatching. And then once I got past that, I had such a good time. And it's something that it says in the information card thing about the products it says that people usually like reference working with pastels more as painting rather than drawing and it's so strange because i i've heard that before but i just i never understood it until now and i had so much fun i had way more fun than i thought i would I really enjoyed working on this piece, which <laughs> I don't know why I'm so surprised. I I feel like it's such a vivid and like just full of life medium, if that makes any sense. I don't know, maybe I'm talking nonsense. I'm probably not supposed to be smudging this with my fingers all the time, but um, that's, you know, I, I don't have any smudging tools, so that's what happened. I guess I could use like a blending stump, but... Hey, for once, I did not cheat in the scrawler challenge. I I used only the supplies in the box. Actually, I used an eraser, but I think that's fair game. Also, I feel like this piece is definitely overworked. Um, cause I felt like as I was going, I have like four or five moments where I feel like this is done and then I keep working on it and then I feel like okay this is done and then I keep working on it and I feel like you know what I think this is done 
and at some point I felt like I, I just overdid it. But I had such a good time despite the fact that I was making a huge mess. Um, whenever you can see me like lifting the paper away from the, the camera angle, uh, that is me just like tapping the paper over the garbage can because it's so much residue on top of the paper. So I kind of just like flicked it <laughs> again and again over the trash can and that's what happens when you see me just taking the paper out of frame again and again and again because that happened a lot. Um, the point we're at now, I kind of love how this looks. I like how fluid and soft everything is. I feel like the the end result you'll see um, is I, I kind of want to smudge it a little bit more but I felt like at that point I I think I layered everything too thick so when I tried smudging it it just started to become muddy so I decided to stop and just leave it as it was um, but yeah no I have multiple versions of this like as I'm working on it where I'm like oh I love that version especially now looking back at it I'm like man I should have I should have just stopped <laughs> but yeah anyways it is what it is I'm I definitely feel like the final pieces are overworked but I also feel like I learned so much I had such a good time working on this and again like I went into this with the mindset that I don't like this medium. Although I've never worked with this medium, so so like what? What kind of like <laughs> I'm so judgmental before I even like tried it and I don't know why. Like in my head I was just like I don't like chalk pastels. And then I tried it and I'm like kind of falling in love with this medium which is the strangest thing because in theory like in my head I still don't like it but after trying it I'm like I want to do more um I want to explore this medium and this is oh, it's just inspiring all together and I don't know what else to say guys I I changed my mind I now enjoy this medium like a lot I never thought I would but I really do. Right now I'm just putting the finishing touches and I decided to just go with the dark purpley grayish tone um, and just create kind of like a silhouette of like grass or ground or whatever. I didn't put in any more of the detail because I felt like it didn't need it. So there you go. Um, anyways, that's I think that's me rambling on about how how much I love this medium now. Um, surprisingly. What? I don't know. Anyways, um, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, uh, I hope you're having a lovely day or night or evening or whatever it is as you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting. Bye! Oh, also, like and subscribe. Okay, bye, bye.